If you have a battery backup, there are some slight differences in the terminal labels. Check out the end of this video for a brief explanation. Begin by connecting the power supply box to your power source. Connect the red wire from the magnet to the NC positive terminal on the power supply. Now connect the red wire from the fingerprint scanner to the 12 volt terminal on the power supply. The blue wire connects to the push terminal. Now wire one of the terminals on the push button with the black and orange wires from the scanner and the black wire from the magnet. These all go into the ground terminal on the power supply. The yellow wire on the scanner connects to the second terminal on the push button. The purple, white, and green wires are not used. Cap them with a wire nut. Now turn on the power. The light on the fingerprint scanner should flash red and the magnet should lock. We are ready to program the fingerprint scanner. On the remote control, press star and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to enter programming mode. The light on the scanner will turn blue. Then press star and 1 to change the admin fingerprint. The light will turn purple. Scan a finger that you won't use to unlock the door. Scan it twice. The purple light should flash after each successful scan. If it flashes red and beeps three times, the scan was unsuccessful. After two successful scans, you now have a new admin fingerprint. You have to exit admin mode in order to scan a new user fingerprint. Do this by pressing pound and the purple light will change back to a red flashing light. Re-enter admin mode by scanning your admin fingerprint. The light will turn blue and now press one to set up a user. Scan your user fingerprint two times. If the scan is successful, the blue light will flash. On the second scan, it will flash twice, meaning that the user has been successfully created. Press pound to exit admin mode and test your fingerprint to make sure it works. Be sure to also test the push button. If you have a battery backup, you can still follow these instructions, but the terminals on the backup are labeled a little differently. Instead of the common terminal, there's another ground and all of the other terminals are the same, but they are positioned in a different order. Pay close attention to the terminal labels to make sure you're connecting the correct wires. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to our awesome customer service team at 888-458-5911.